A B before we start this video. Turning them post notifications if you really gang. Banging in the same get to it, man. Now for the people that don't know, it's your boy King Cash. This is my new channel, Cash Reacts. So make sure you press that subscribe button, hit the like, and turn notifications on because I'm posting most of my new videos on this channel, man. Now let's rewind a little bit to catch y'all up, right? So y'all know a few rappers already spoke about the Mo3 situation and him passing away and gave some advice on it, but I feel like Slim Thug saying what he got to say hit a little harder because, you know, he from Texas too, Mo3 from Texas. I'm sure the people he was beefing with from the same area. So it hit a little harder because this is people that they used to listen to when they was young. So hopefully a lot more rappers from Texas come and speak about this because, like I say, it hit harder. So I'm going to let y'all hear what he had to say about it. But first... Make sure you smash that like button, turn notifications on, and press subscribe. All right. Dang. Good evening, guys and gals, friends and pals. Good morning. I say good evening. I'm outside having my morning. I'm outside having my morning smoke before I start my day. And uh. With all this shit going on, I just want to say something positive and try to, you know, like I've been giving y'all insight of how I move. You know, a lot of people always ask me for advice of how I do what I do, how I get where I got and shit like that. So I've been sharing lately of how I think, how I move. Okay. Well, every day I try to read the word in some form or fashion. Like that's why I usually do the Joel Osteen daily post. Grizzle was good. I can't do it. I can't be there that early. I call you when I finished it. Yeah. Um, daily I try to read the word every day. Read the, you know uh, a message and uh, say a prayer. You know to start my day off to keep it on some positive stuff. It's like therapy, bro. Like you really got to take your peace serious you gotta do that shit you gotta be serious about it because we fucked up we like ptsd or some shit like we've been through so much shit seen so much fucked up shit raised fucked up everything fucked up you know what i'm saying so you gotta kind of self heal yo i mean well really you need to, i need a therapist in real life that's what i really need probably you know to do this shit but you know for now this is self therapy like i say you read the word every day Start your day off on some positive. You know, you see me post, I post like three positive quotes every day to start my day off on some positive. You know what I'm saying? Um, what else? I try to post like something funny right after that. Some fun, find something funny, you know, just to keep people laughing, man. People are going through a lot right now. You don't know. People with money, without money, everybody going through something. You don't know what a motherfucker going through. So I just try to keep a positive light around my life you know what i'm saying whether it's with the word whether it's sharing something funny on instagram you know um what else i do okay i speak shit into existence that shit is so real like and that's the same thing with uh that rap shit like don't like uh speak negative in your shit don't speak let's let's talk about it let's go through the, the people let's talk about tupac um all he talked about was dying. Just whole fucking rap career. Pac talked about dying and he died. Biggie shit was ready to die. He died. You know, don't speak that shit into existence, bro. Speak positive shit into existence. You know what I'm saying? And that shit is real. If you if you speak negative, negative will come. You know what I'm saying? So just think about that. When you moving around and, and making music or whatever you do, speak positive shit. If you go back in my music, I can point out uh, uh, numerous times where I said next year I'll be riding a Bentley next summer and got that Bentley. Next year I'll be doing this. And I did that. It's because I spoke positive things into existence for myself. And I, I, I purposely do that every year. Every time I do something, I try to purposely speak positive, you know what I'm saying, shit I'm, and, and stuff I want. And it happens over and over and over again like i know this shit weird like motherfuckers you know a lot of motherfuckers don't even believe in god this shit is real this shit is real bro like you speaking shit into existence is real on both ends you know whether it's negative or it's positive so make sure you know you speak positive light into your life 
Um, we raised to be enemies, you know what I'm saying? When really, that ain't what's up. That ain't what's cool. When people be calling me, man, I hate when people call me. I'm on live, man. What the fuck? I'm on live TV and you calling. Yeah, so, listen, um, I forgot what the fuck I was saying now. You know what? Yeah, black people, we walk around and seem like we got enemy. We, we enemies with each other. So, to try to fix that shit, every day when I'm at the parks, especially, I speak to motherfuckers I don't even know. Like, you know, I don't even know these niggas. But they try so hard to avoid eye contact. Everybody got their little tough look on, just walking around naturally with their mean mug, right? I try to speak to everybody at the motherfucking park to break that cycle. What's up, boss? What's up? And I speak, and I call everybody a boss. I don't give a fuck if you the janitor. I speak words of encouragement to everybody. I, if, you, if you know me, you know how I speak is. What's up with it, boss? How you doing, boss? What up with it, boss? What the fuck is this? What the fuck? Big ass bug tried to take me out the game. That bitch just looked me dead in my eyes. Yeah, man. Everybody who know me know I speak positive words, man. I, I mean, I, I, uh, I don't give a fuck if you're a janitor. I don't give a fuck who you is. You can be homeless. I'm a, my, my what's up to you is, what up with it, boss? What's up with it, boss? You know what I'm saying? Words of encouragement, man. It's too much shit going on out here. Too many people going through shit out here. God damn that bug fucked my high up, man. It was a big fat motherfucker too. Oh shit. This nigga need to get out of my yard with that hoe ass shit. I'm trying to peacefully smoke my blunt. Oh man. That fat ass nigga. Yeah, but I'm trying to speak some positive shit, man. Yeah. So this just different shit I be doing. Like, you know, I don't know, you know, like end of the day man work on your self value man work on your self value i hope that ain't fuck up my positive message that funny ass shit but work on your self value man and make sure you moving like a boss and not like a crash dummy you know what i'm saying because look that's what i want you to do consider how many gangsters you know that's uh name how many gangsters name some gangsters you know that's 50 years old still gangsters that's getting it you know what i'm saying ain't been to jail you know just lived a positive lifestyle didn't have to do 10 years here five years there name a gangster who 50 years old who ain't lose it all who ain't had to do all that who ain't had to go all that go through all that you know what i'm saying so just you know understand who you are and what you looking for. So, uh, you need to really just think about this. Is you trying to come up? Is your mind frame, I'm on, I'm trying to come up? Or is you on some, I'm going to just stay down. I'm going to stay. I don't know no shooters out here who ball. And I don't know no shooters who walk around this bitch like um, bosses. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you could be the boss. You could be the shooter. You could be who you want to be in life. But just know your future. You know what I'm saying? Just know your future. That's what you need to realize. Just be conscious of your future. Uh, uh, study. The sh look in your neighborhood. Let's just worry about your neighborhood. Keep it local. How many shooters do I know in the hood who 50 years old, who lived a good life or anything, who ain't been locked up doing all this? How many uh, gangsters you know, real gangsters, who did all this gangster shit? Didn't go to jail, ain't have to do 10 years, lose it all, ain't have to go through all that. Like, come on, you don't know none. You don't know none, probably. You feel me? Think about that. So, and think about, that's your mind frame. Is you trying to stay down or is you trying to come up? You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck is you trying to do? You know, that's what you need to realize, man. Because it's really slave mentality, the dumb shit we do. It's, it's, it's kind of like goofy. It's emotional. It's a lot of emotional shit. Niggas and they feelings like girls, and then you know they can't control their feelings, and you know what I'm saying putting their uh, future on the line for nothing. It's a lot of that man going on, and a lot of niggas getting locked up, and a lot of niggas getting shot and dying for nothing, for no money. How much money was made during all this shit? Like if you if you ain't shooting no nigga behind 
him fucking over you and robbing you for your last, it don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? If you got some feeling shit going on and you ready to shoot a nigga over some feeling shit, you emotional. And that ain't going to get you too far, kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, and, and I'm just waking you up. Don't, don't fuck Slim Thug. Look at your neighborhood and you tell me where you from, you know, what's going on. These is all broke people activities. Shooting up niggas is broke people activities. I ain't trying to shoot no nigga. I'm trying to get a bankroll, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about no nigga, man. Like, that's kind of gay to me to be worried about another nigga who I don't even know like that. Like, what am I worried about another nigga for? He ain't got nothing to do with my goals. Fuck that nigga. Only way a nigga gonna get if he come fuck with my family, that's that's the only things you you um you know, it's a if a motherfucker come fuck with your family, rob you or at your house or rob you, period. You know, I understand that these are things I will understand. Like, you know, this when you a gun battle is, is, is understandable. But to just dry shoot a nigga over some beef and you don't know this nigga or uh, you got kids. Niggas be leaving families behind, leaving their whole children behind, you know, um, playing street games for nothing, for no money. 